three, two, one, mark, T zero. And our first APEP rocket has left the rail. Radar Let's listen in. Tracking. Motor pressure. Plus 20. Multi-am antennas tracking. Plus 30. Here's now a look inside of RCC. That's the range team. Plus 40. As well as sounding rockets, our PI. Dr. Brajati is also in the room. All now observing the data on the screens in front of them. Looks like the zero degree boom did not deploy. Two, one, mark. Radar subtracted. Ignition squib, motor pressure. Success. And our second vehicle has left the rail of the ARC Radar launcher here, live booster. from Wallace Flight Facility in Virginia. As part of the APEP launches, a three rocket salvo that the uh, NASA Wallace Flight Facility is launching today in conjunction with Dr. Aro Berjadia from the Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University in Florida. APEP, of course, is an acronym. Uh, atmospheric perturbations around the eclipse path. We are launching three rockets today, four sub payloads on each, for a total of uh, 12 uh, different data sets that will be collected today and uh, back to the universities and academia for study in our ionosphere. Let's listen in as we're in the plus count and we take a look in the RCC Bottom of the screen center is our PI, Dr. Brajadia, and his science team. Swarm squib, all plunger switches. Eject squib, all brake wires. ACS one complete. Half skirt squib and brake wire. Six, five, four, three, two, one, mark, T zero. Radars are tracking. Plus 10. Ignition squib and motor pressure. Plus Radar's 20. Two and three on the booster. Plus 30. Plus 40. Burnout. Plus 50. Despin squib. One minute. Sub squib and brake wire. 